hello hello hey everyone hello hello let me get some things ready make sure i have everything ready for this live so all right let me put um you guys let me walk over this way All right, so hello, hello, welcome to my live. Um, I think this is like the fourth one that I've done and um, um, they're super fun, honestly. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you uh, for watching the replay. So hello to all my replay uh, people that watch it. Um, so today we're gonna be doing a super fun and easy uh, cupcake cake. So Memorial Day is coming up, which I can't believe it's seriously like around the corner, honestly, it's, it's so fast. Um, in summer, that means usually a lot of people, you know, use that holiday as, a, as the beginning of summer. So um, I wanted to do a cute and fun and super easy cupcake cake um, in the design of a flag. It's super cute and again, super easy. So, um, and I did want to say, because it's Memorial Day, of course, um, I know a lot of people go on barbecues and get togethers, but I did want to take the time to thank all of the men and women who have served and who have passed away um, for our country. So God bless them and God bless their families. So, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna bring you down over here. Hopefully you guys can, can see here. All right, so I have here 24 cupcakes and I just made them out of a box. So um, just, I use Betty Crocker. You can use uh, any any brand honestly that you want there's Duncan Hines out there there's Pillsbury so it's it's really up to you guys um, what I went ahead and I added sprinkles so I added about a cup and a quarter of sprinkles in there um, and so you don't have to add sprinkles or if you don't have like these are red white and blue you can go ahead and use um, rainbow sprinkles um, so they're already baked just follow the directions that are on the back of the box and just add like the sprinkles like I said if you don't like vanilla, you can go ahead and use chocolate. You can use uh, red velvet, I think would be a really fun one for this one too. So I used, I'm gonna use a pan. Um, oh, sorry. I don't know what size this is, but it's pretty big. You want a pan that's gonna fit 24 cupcakes. Um, so I know the Dollar Tree has a tray. Um, I've used that tray for so many parties. It's roughly like the same size. Oh, sorry, it's just so loud, oh my gosh. So you're gonna go ahead and place your, your cupcakes pretty snug, okay? Um, can you guys see? Yeah, down. I'll move you a little bit like that. So you wanna put them together. So what you're gonna do is put six across four rows. And like I said, get them, get them nice and uh, snug. Get them nice and close. Five, six, make sure I'm doing it right. And then like get them nice and snug in here, okay? And then another row. And so we're going to build our little flag here. Um, super cute. And it's easy, like, if you're going to have, like, a barbecue or get-together. People, you don't have to worry about cutting anything. You just, people just grab, you know, the, the cupcakes. Kids love these. My kids love these. I used to make so many of these. Now that they're older, um, not so much, but they still enjoy them. And the thing is, with these, like, cupcake cakes, you can make a lot of cute designs. So just keep building them and keep, like, kind of... Get them nice and close together. <laughs> no six feet apart here. <laughs> Everyone's right here. It's close, close party today. All right. Okay, and then our last row. So like I said, if you don't want uh, vanilla, if you're not a fan of vanilla, you can use chocolate. You can use red velvet. Um, you can use uh, like maybe a lemon if you prefer that. So I just used a box cake, like I said, um, one of these, real easy. And just follow what it says on the back of the box. And then I just added like a cup and a quarter of sprinkles. I used red, white, and blue, but I think also rainbow sprinkles would be really fun. So just one like that, just nice and snug, nice together. Okay, just push them in together. All right. So it's gonna look like that. So that's why you want a tree that's, you know, pretty big. Now what we're gonna do is, I just use regular frosting. Um, and 
if you if you want to go ahead and use like your own cupcake recipe like from scratch if you want to use your your own uh, icing or you know your frosting from scratch go ahead um, like I said these Wednesdays I want them to be nice and simple and easy and super fun so we're gonna go ahead and instead of just dumping everything in the piping bag what I usually do when I um, use these canned frostings I whip it up so um, it just gives it uh, makes it a little bit more fluffier so I'm gonna go ahead I'm just gonna mix it in with a handheld mixer and you'll see that it gets a little bit more fluffy you don't have to do this stuff but I think it does help okay my phone is acting up so if <laughs> if it turns off I am so sorry it is seriously acting up right now and it hasn't before so all right so just go ahead and I just have it a regular glass bowl and I'm gonna go ahead and add this is vanilla it's regular um, vanilla frosting if you prefer I think they have a cream cheese one that would be pretty yummy too yeah see that it's starting to turn off it's never done that before and then it turned, it told me it was going live and then it said it's not working and I'm like, oh my God, should I start talking or <laughs> staring at the camera all awkwardly? All right. Okay. And so this one I'm going to go ahead and color blue because we, we want red, white, and blue, right? So I'm just going to use these colors, um, just like regular colors that you, you know, you can find at the grocery store. And I'm just going to use, um, I'm going to make the blue one. So you're gonna add a few drops. Now you can make this as light as you want, as dark as you want, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it. Oh my God, <laughs> see what things have been on live. Did you guys see that? Oh my God. I don't know if I got it on camera, but oh, my wall's blue, just so you guys know. Wow, okay. So now I'm just gonna, gonna go ahead and mix it with the mixer. And you wanna mix it for a couple minutes, not too long, or a couple seconds, excuse me you're gonna start seeing it get like nice and fluffy. Put it on high. And so it's, this is like a light blue. If you wanna go ahead and use that light blue, but I like it just a little bit darker. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Um, hopefully it doesn't go all over the wall, oh my gosh. It's never happened before, but I'm on live. So of course it's gonna happen on live, right? <laughs> So go ahead and go on high with a mix. And just for a couple seconds, you don't need sky blue I like that color if you want a darker go ahead and add more you can keep adding as much as you want and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix some blue here on the side that squirted all over the place I, mean, I don't know if you can notice it got a little bit more fluffier I don't know if you can see it there's air bubbles I mean just it's better to pipe too I think so so we're gonna go ahead and get our piping bag and I just used a regular, this is, I believe, 16 inch disposable piping bag. And I'm gonna use my star tip, which is a 1M. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up the piping bag. These piping bags come closed. There's not, um, you're gonna have to cut it open. So you put in your star tip or your piping tip. This is a star tip. And then you put it all the way, you squeeze it all the way to the top. Okay, you see? So this is still sticking out. I make a, a like a little line right here so I know how far to cut it. I push it back down and I just cut it uh, like a straight line across and sure I'm cutting the right one. Right, now my scissors doesn't they, everyone knows I'm alive. <laughs> Things have to go crazy when you're alive. So then just push the piping tip back up nice and snug, okay? Just like that. And it's in there so I use a cup it's a lot easier to fill you don't have to worry about holding it and then you know your piping bag falling so just use a cup and basically cover you're gonna want to cover like that cut you're gonna cover the cup 
Let's open it up. Okay. And now what you're going to do is just put in your frosting. It's so easier, so much easier. When I learned this trick, I was like, wow. I was feeling them using my hand and then trying to get the bowl and then sometimes the, the frosting would plop out. It was, you know, when you're beginning, you know, it's, <laughs> you learn, right? You learn. So just put in all the frosting in there. So what do you guys usually do for um, Memorial Day? Usually we... I like a barbecue. I know things are a little bit different still with everything that's still going on, but that's what we used to do. We used to barbecue. Any chance my dad <laughs> had to barbecue, he would barbecue. So, um, so now what you want to do is basically go underneath. My hands are underneath. And you want to lift up. Okay, you're going to lift up all the way up. And then I know it looks kind of crazy. It's just totally fine. Strain them out. And then what you want to do is squeeze down and then twist, and there you go. So now what we're gonna do is the the blue part on the cake. So I know for you, I'm gonna be working like opposite, I guess you can say. So I'm gonna start off with over here, this little, it's gonna be six cupcakes that are gonna be blue. And then you're gonna have the stripes over here, so as you'll see, but you want six, the little corner over here, three, and then three gonna be blue. So what you wanna do is get your piping bag, and we're gonna try to, you wanna cover like the whole cupcake in a way, okay? Um, so let's see if you guys can see. So you wanna go around the cupcake into the center, okay? It, I mean, if a little bit peeks out, that's totally fine. So you're gonna go around the cupcake and in the center, around the cupcake, into the center, and then you keep going around the cupcake into the center. And there you go. Okay, so that's the the blue part of the flag. So, um, if you want, um, I forgot to mention, sometimes the cupcakes will slide. Um, but if you want a little bit more security, because they're already like kind of bunched together, so they are sticking. I don't know if you noticed, they are sticking to each other, which is a good thing. Okay, that's what you want. Um, but in case you want a little bit more, like you're taking it to a, you know your family's house or whatever. You can put a little bit of frosting, like on the bottom. Very little, you don't want a lot. Like a little bit of frosting. Um, I know some people put like a, a little circle and just press it in and you're gonna wanna do that. Obviously before you, you do this, that's why I forgot to mention that, but before you frost the blue part of the flag, you wanna go on each underneath one and then press it back down, get them nice and snug, and then that's when you would start decorating. Okay, so now uh, you're gonna start with red. So now what we need is red. So I already pre-colored uh, it because I didn't wanna go ahead and show <laughs> me mixing all these different colors. So here is the red. And I know red can be a challenging color, I know, um, to get red. It's, you need a lot of it sometimes. So what we're gonna go do is, um, if you wanted to go ahead and get different tips, you can go ahead and buy three different tips. Um, I just go ahead and switch it out. Um, it's not a big deal. And I rinse it out. And then go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out real quick. But to buy all these tips, um, I usually don't use, I use like the really large ones for when I have orders for my customers. But you can go ahead and buy. Okay, on my back, see my phone is not acting. Hopefully you guys can see me. It's been acting up today, sorry guys. I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna keep going, keep going, pushing through, right? Pushing through, so. Um, so I was saying, I don't know if you guys heard, if you can't get a deep, there it goes again, if you can't get a deep red, um, try using a gel, because I know we're using these guys. Um, and it does work if you use if you use it, but you're not gonna get like a deep red sometimes. So you can go ahead and use a gel color. So they tend to be a little bit more better. Um, Wilton, like if you go to Michaels or um, Hobby Lobby, they have the gel colors there. So I just went ahead and I dried it, just 
Like I said, today everything is actually... <laughs> my candle, I had candles back there. They're acting up. I'm like, oh my gosh, really guys? So I'm going to go ahead and get another piping bag. And I already cut the piping bag for this one. Like I said, I don't want to keep going and repeating myself. Um, but you push it through like that. Okay, you can see. I know I have blue everywhere. But if that's how it is, when you bake and you cook, those of you that know, if you don't get messy, if it doesn't go, you know, wrong, and are you really baking, right? <laughs> or am I just telling myself that? I don't know. Anyways, so just, I already mixed this, like I said, and I use a handheld mixer. So I use this, for those of you joining right now, this canned frosting, and I put it in a bowl and I go and get my handheld mixer and I just kind of mix it up a little bit. And it gets it a little bit more fluffier. Um, if you don't want to do all that, you can go ahead and use it straight out of the container. But I do recommend mixing it a little bit just to get it a little bit more fluffier. And it's a lot easier to pipe. So we're going to go ahead, like I said. Um, so when you put a piping bag, use a cup, it's a lot easier. And we're going to go ahead and dump our red frosting in there. And again, I'm sorry for the connection. My phone is, every time I look up, it's just like acting up. It's, it'll go dark and then pause the video. And it's one of those days. So, all right. So that's the red. So what we're going to do, here's the cake. We already did the blue. Over here, you've got six blue. So that's what you're going to do. Six of them are blue. We're gonna go ahead, so you guys can see, lift, get your hands, and you're gonna lift up. Okay. And then straighten the piping tip out. Push, gently push the frosting. We're gonna twist and like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna frost the, th the three here. So two, these three, you guys can see, these three up here, and then this row. So it's gonna be red, white, red, white. So you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing that we did with the blue, and we're gonna go around the edge. And it's okay if it touches the blue. You kind of want that, okay? So it kind of just unifies together. So you're gonna go around the cupcake in the middle. Around the cupcake in the middle. Okay, oops, yeah, I was, I, <laughs> it's one of those days I'm telling you, I was about to do that one. Oh my goodness. Jacqueline, get it together. All right. So now we're going to skip this one because that's going to be white. So we're going to go down here and we're going to frost this whole row. So go around the edge to the middle and you're going to keep going. This is a perfect, I'm telling you, it's also really good for 4th of July. That's also around the corner. It's perfect cake for that. And like I was saying, it's a perfect, easy dessert. Um... You don't have to worry about cutting it and serving it and, you know, doing all that stuff. So, all right. So there we go. So now we're going to do, see, look, it's looking cute. Let me see if I can, it's a different angle. Does it look like that? So all we need to do now is fill in the white. So super easy, super, super easy, guys. And so now I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to rinse out. I didn't want to go ahead and, and buy all these piping tips, but... Feel free, if that's what you want to do, go ahead. So I just cut off the tip off of the piping bag. And all I do is rinse it out, you know, wash it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the white. You can use any tip that you want as well if you don't want to use this one. Uh, the star tip. There's round tips, there's different star tips as well. Um, so I'm just rinsing it out, washing it out real quick. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these tutorials as much as I am. Honestly, these are super fun. I hope that when you guys come, you know, I'm going to try to do them every Wednesday. I think we need like that mid midday pick-me-up. So we're going to go ahead and now fill in our last color. All right, and so we're going to use the disposable piping bag. Open it up. And then put our type our piping tip in there. And I'm using a 1M 
squeeze it in, and then use the cup to fill it in. If there are any videos that you guys would like to like for me to make to see, you know, let me know, and then I'll see. Cause farmers markets is, is coming up next week, so we'll, maybe I'll give you guys like a little behind the scenes of how that how that works, how I prep for that. Um, I think that'll be fun. I think someone actually I, said that to me already too, so I think that'll be pretty pretty fun. So when you whip it, I don't know if you guys can see. There's like little air pockets. It's, it's it does give a little bit more of gives it life, I guess. So yeah, I think farmer's market's going to be fun if I take you guys like behind the scenes and show you guys how we prep and, and all that cool stuff. I think it'll be fun. Then especially once we're there and so you guys can kind of get, if you've never been, so hopefully you guys can see like the, how the vibe is over there. It's real chill, honestly. It's really, it's really nice. It's a really nice experience. So we're going to go ahead and lift it up. Okay. There goes my phone again. Oh my goodness. And so, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done with this. Look at how cute. And how easy, honestly. So you don't have to, if you're having guests over or you're going to a party, you don't have to really stress out about it. You're, and you're bringing a cute, you know, presenting a cute dessert for everybody. So, All right, so we're going to go do the same thing. Now, again, don't worry if it touches the other frostings. You kind of want that. So go ahead. And we're just going to fill the rest of the the naked cupcakes. We're going to dress them up, right? And so just go around. All right. All the way. And you can use chocolate. I think chocolate, you know, my daughter was like, oh, you know, next time use chocolate. I'm like, well, <laughs> right now I have vanilla. But yes, maybe next time, Mama. Okay, keep going around the cupcake into the middle and then lift up around the cupcake. Middle. And push down if you have to. Twist. Go around in the middle and then the last one. All right. And look how cute. Oh, there goes my phone. There you guys have it. Look at how cute. So now what I want to do is I have these little star sprinkles. So right here where the stars are obviously on the flag. So I have these cute little star sprinkles. I got them at Michael's. They're silver. They also had gold. So I'm going to go ahead and you can go ahead and just sprinkle them on. Um, or you can just put them a little bit you know, neater. I keep tapping my phone. I'm so sorry because again, it's just turning off. And when it turns off, it puts you guys on... Uh, it pauses the video, I believe, right? I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna put them like this. If you want them a little bit more, you know, so they, you can see the star like precisely, use a tooth, toothpick. Um, but I mean, again, you don't have to. So we're gonna go ahead and just sprinkle them on. The gold would have, I think, looked pretty cool too, but I like the silver. The silver is kind of better, better, I think, personally. So we're gonna go ahead and just sprinkle them on. So these are the little sprinkles that I'm adding, and so you can see they're little little stars. All right, and that's it, guys. Look how easy that was. Honestly, it's like the perfect um, dessert for any of those barbecues. Like I said, Fourth of July, this is perfect. Um, oh yeah, you know what? Probably it is because last the other lives were <laughs> were perfectly fine, and then now I'm like, oh my god, everything's going. Um, Everything's going back. <laughs> my candles back there were like, and I've used the candles before. It's not like, you know, they were acting up. If I were to turn my phone, the wall is like blue. <laughs> my kids are going to be like, what did you do? <laughs> you went crazy today on your live, mom. Um, it's like, a, anyways, I don't want to say. Anyway, let's move on, right? <laughs> so here it is. I don't know if I can lift it up. Thank you, thank you. Look at Look at how cute. So that's why, you know, get a cute little tray. Um, and then people can just, honestly, you know, you just put it there and people can just, you lift it up and each one has their own. You don't have to worry about it. You can keep chilling and relaxing because, you know, when you have people over, you you kind of don't want to start, you know, fussing around, especially when it's hot, you know. But look how cute. I think if you're not a fan of sprinkles, and I would see my husband's not a fan of sprinkles. He's like, why did you put so many sprinkles in here? And the more sprinkles, the better for me, honestly. So look. Look how 
cute. And I think it'll look cute too with rainbow sprinkles, honestly, I think so. Again, thank you so much, guys, for joining me. It was a quick live, I know, but I, this is what I want. I want you guys to come on Wednesdays and chill with me. You know, if you're having a good week, if you're not having a good week, hopefully I can bring a smile to your face. Um, so, yeah, we'll keep going every Wednesday, hopefully, uh, God willing, at 6 p.m. Like I said, Farmer's Market is starting next week, which we're so excited. Um, but I will be... I don't know if it's going to be a tutorial, but you will be seeing me. And even if it's like behind the scenes, um, me prepping, because there's so much prep when it comes down to farmer's markets. It's, it's a lot of prep. It's a lot of, you know, with anything, when is it not a lot of prep work, you know? But, um, so yeah, so I'll be seeing you guys next Wednesday. Um, have a very happy and a very safe Memorial Day, please. Um, oh, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> thank you so much yes oh my god tell him i said hello thank you so much for watching um las vegas my brother is uh from vegas and i have one of uh, his friends thank you so much for watching um i haven't seen him in a very long time i can't wait to go visit um we haven't yeah we haven't been in we haven't seen each other in a very long time honestly too long too long so um but yeah thank you so much for joining um so like I was, yeah, definitely come next Wednesday, check, you know, every Wednesday I'm going to try to be here at 6 p.m. and grab yourself a drink, let's chill, let's talk, you know, uh, my husband's like, let's, we should do this, uh, uh, oh, awesome, 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 <laughs> we should do this more often and call it a, what did you say, Good Vibes Wednesday, and I actually like that, Good Vibes Wednesday, I, I kind of like that, let's hang out, grab a drink, whether it's coffee or you know, cocktail, whatever, whatever floats your boat, you know, I will not judge. Um, and we'll make something cute together or we'll talk about what I'm going through, you know, farmer's markets or whatever, or treat deliveries, let me know. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it. Seriously, I really do. Um, go ahead and make this this weekend. It's super fun. Even if it's just for you guys for fun, the kids loved, love, 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 love doing things like this because it's creative and, and it's cute, you know, so, and then sometimes they do their own little spin on it so which i love so again thank you so much guys have a safe and and happy uh weekend it's a long weekend um but be safe and again thank you so much to all of uh you know the people that all the that died for us all the men and the women who served for us uh god bless them god bless their families thank you so much uh, i know a lot of you guys it's you know barbecues and stuff which yes that's awesome but you know don't forget to thank them and for their service and you know for for, you know, serving and all that, because it's hard, you know, and especially with, for the families, so happy Memorial Day to all of you guys, and um, make the cake, I would love, tag me, I would love to see your creations, so until next time, um, bye guys, I love you so much, bye.